So I'm flying to Manila tomorrow and my flight is around 11 o'clock, I think so, uh, around lunchtime. I'm gonna be on the plane and I thought I would make myself a sandwich to take with me on the plane. Because the last time I was in the airport, I wasn't so happy with the choices that were there. So I figured I can just easily prep something and take it along with me. Okay, I only want about half the onion because it's just for me. And since the onion is raw, I'm gonna submerge it in some cold water just to take away some of that sharp taste. All right, I also want some tomatoes. In a separate bowl, in go the onions, I mean <laughs> the tomatoes. It's good, I like it. Hmm, maybe a little more Dijon. Mmm, mmm, perfect, perfect. I'm back from Hamilton, got my little merch cap, which I am so happy with. Uh, I didn't really vlog while I was in Manila. I just kind of didn't want to, so I didn't. I was there to watch Hamilton. The play was amazing. If you have the opportunity, definitely go check it out. Uh, I'm such a theater girl as well. Like I really love the whole experience and acting and plays and everything that's like one of my first loves so being there and we had amazing seats we were like so close to the stage that you could see the spit and sweat flying off of the actors you could see their facial expressions and then just the production quality and the acting and the music of course like everything that contributed to the story i just got so emotional and overwhelmed really really happy that i got to see it while they were here in manila no regrets absolutely love it absolutely recommend it all right but now bachi also if you can hear that this is why the last vlog was mostly silent vlog and i wasn't really speaking to camera because there is construction going on again nearby and there's just a lot of construction noise so i just didn't really feel like talking they were a lot louder last week. They're not as bad this week. So, you know. So yesterday we got back and I finished this painting, which I started working on. Well, not finished, but I kept working on this painting, which I started working on in last week's vlog. So in the vlog, I kind of didn't really talk as much, one, because of the construction noise, but two, because honestly, all of my brain power goes to 
like I'm I'm constantly thinking like what colors should I use what brush should I use what like where should I be putting this stroke so it's it's a lot of things to think about so I can't really have any outside noise but yeah now that I'm kind of done I wanted to show you what I made so this I should do one of those um, insta reel reveals you know where I'm just like <gasps> did I do that right so originally if you remember this painting it looks completely different from where it ended up and I was saying in the last vlog the reason for that is it just the more I was painting it, the more I felt like it wasn't really my work. It feels like work that I had seen somebody else do. And if that line sounds familiar, you must be a fan of Kiki's delivery service. I think I saw a clip recently of Kiki and Ursula talking about um, burnout and Ursula talking about how like it wasn't really her work it was just copying somebody else's work and not doing it very well. And when I heard that line again, it really resonated with me. It really made me think like, oh, that's exactly how I feel. Is this really the type of conversation we should be having with hammering going on in the background? I think we should pick up this conversation maybe when they go on a break and when that dog calms down. <laughs> Okay, so everyone seems to have gone on their break. So what was I saying? I was talking about this painting. Right, so I got started to work on the face yesterday. I really like how it ended up. It's, I don't know if I'm done. Like technically she has no eyelashes, but I kind of like it. I don't know what it is, but I kind of like how it turned out. So this is what I'm talking about. Like, I feel like I'm discovering more of what I like in my art. And the reason why I haven't been making as much art as I used to is because I try to, whenever I start to make it, I think that maybe other people won't like it. Or if I turn it, like maybe in the future, I can turn it into stickers or art prints or something like that. And if it's not as commercially accessible, then people won't buy it, people won't like it. And it's just taking away from how the art that I want to make, you know, like it makes me not want to make. So um, right now, I kind of want to focus on making art just for me, if that makes sense, like trying to figure out who I am as an artist and like what are the type of things that I want to create and if people like it then great but if they don't then that's fine because I've gotten everything that I need to have gotten from just making it in the first place. I've been talking for a while. I'm making up for the fact that I didn't speak to you at all in the last vlog but yes that's what's been happening. <laughs> I moved things around for the natural light and I've been staring at this painting for a while and I don't know, I feel like I'm done. I mean, I know there are more things I could do to it, but I'm happy with where it currently is that I'm happy to just leave it alone. And if in the future I feel like I need to work on it some more, then I can come back to it and do something then, but yeah. For now, I think I'm done. <laughs> I 
forgot to remove the tape from this. Oh my gosh, I'm just so used to seeing it this way. first one that I made which I'll link the video if you haven't seen it yet I actually still really love how this turned out I'm gonna move this to my bedroom because I just feel like it's more applicable there I'm gonna put this here I like how the colors work better with the artwork that um, I've already put up yeah I feel like this one matches a lot better mm -hmm. 